Are we finally seeing the end of the Katie Joy vs. Everyone war? It looks like recent events are indicating that we have reached a breaking point. However, that does not mean that this war is over. So let's explore this together. Now, my name is Nick Zangle. This is the place where we confront woke cancel culture head on. And without further ado, let's get into it. So, without a crystal ball, the YouTube channel run by Katie Joy, recently shed some tears on a live stream of hers on her second channel called Katie Joy Live after a pretty rocky week for her and a lot of people involved that are kind of intermixed in this huge web of scandal and drama. And it involved a whole bunch of court document filings. It involved accounts being hacked and some serious threats against a lot of the players involved in this. On top of that, Katie was dealing with, of course, the constant chatter about this whole situation and her behavior online. Now, I am personally a little conflicted with what it, the, the events that have happened in the past few weeks and how it's just gotten to an all new level. Because on one hand, she keeps doing these things to herself that make her look bad. And we could probably put that, a lot of that in a category, one of many categories, but at least in the kind of entertainment category while also being put in the learning experience category because for people who are on the internet or have any internet presence, this is a very good learning lesson on how this affects your life, whether you create content, whether you just watch it, or if you're just commenting on videos that you watch. All of it has an effect on your life, and I think we're really learning about how that all is happening in this situation. But with the entertainment and education and learning le learning lessons that come from this also comes that really ugly side that has been really destructive to a lot of people, and it has been bringing out sides of people that aren't the prettiest on a lot of fronts of this entire situation. So while I understand this is kind of the perfect storm of a story that is very hard to look away from like a car crash. I wanna make sure I'm not adding too much fuel to the fire. And I know many people who are covering this story and covering her antics every day are saying a lot of times that they are coming from a place of holding her accountable and hoping that she changes and wanting her to change for the better. But sometimes that isn't very clear and doesn't come across that way. And something I've noticed is that some people who have been covering Katie Joy have been slowly morphing or sometimes have this, this suspicion that they're morphing into kind of a Katie Joy light, if you will. And they're starting to do things in a similar way that we saw Katie do it when she basically seemed to have adopted some of the tactics of the people she was covering and she was criticizing on her channel, which to me is what contributed to why she is even in this mess in the first place. And we also have to be upfront and acknowledging that there is this mutualistic relationship between Katie Joy and the people that cover her and are getting boosted up because of what's going on with her. And a lot a lot of people are gaining gaining stuff out of this, including myself. I mean a lot of you found me from the first Katie Joy video I did. I've done a few since then. I tried to do a little different take on it. But it's not always a bad thing that some people are gaining out of this situation. Some people, some of you might have found channels that you really like that you wouldn't have found otherwise. Some people are now seeing who Katie Joy really is and maybe aren't supporting her anymore. Which actually brings me to my next point about her live stream in particular that I'm talking about. So in that live stream, she was crying while talking about how it feels to see her channel from what she said basically falling apart in front of her eyes and how it is like seeing your dreams crumble apart after all this hard work and dedication was put into it. Now, I've touched on this before and it is something that I actually hold as one of my core values and something I truly believe in with the depths of my soul and that is that I believe that we can solve a lot of our personal and in turn a lot of our societal problems by looking inward and taking responsibility for our actions and our parts and things and taking it uh, taking it upon ourselves to change that from the inside. If you don't like where you're at or you don't like what's happening to you, maybe take a look at internally. What part do I play in what's happening? And maybe that's a big part of it and that kind of can stop a lot of what is going on. And so if Katie happens to see this video, don't know if she will, I would ask her two questions and that is, 
Why do you think less people are watching and why do you think less people are engaging with you? These were two things that she kind of touched on when she was getting emotional. And if you don't know the answer to these questions or you're not sure where, what, why, then with all due respect, it is probably you that is at the root of these problems. And I admit it is not easy to walk away from something or to keep your mouth shut. I know how hard that is. But if you really want this to all go away, the way you sometimes say this, instead of trying to play the victim or trying to turn it into all these people are attacking me, whatever the case may be, that appears to be the best course of action for you and for a lot of people who are, are just done with this whole toxic situation and maybe you are struggling to get out of it. Maybe you need to hear it from me. I don't know. That you can take yourself and remove yourself from the situation, even if you have to lose money or fame or recognition, whatever the case may be. And I personally don't think we would be at this point with this story if along the way there seemed to be an aha moment that was very clear to everyone that talks about Katie and was hoping for her to change for the better and it was backed up with action. I know she's said a few things like, oh, I'm going to change the way I am in the future and she goes back to her old ways or does it just to get a clickbaity title to get some views. And in the eyes of those criticizing her most, that would be, I think, something that would have softened the blows along the way that she is encountering and the acceleration of events that has led to what has happened over the past few weeks. And if it wasn't for all these carousel of characters that came in and out directly related to this story and kind of fueled this fire. Now, on the flip side, if this is really about attention and fame, infamy, if you will, and money, then if you don't feel like you're ever gonna get out of it, if you like, if you feel like no one's ever gonna be on your side, just double down, embrace your role, and do what I said I think Jeffree Star should do in my Jeffree Star video a few videos back. And I know she was criticized for kind of comparing herself to Jeffree Star, but I mean, he seems to be doing okay and, and, and after being canceled a whole bunch of times and all this controversy, so, if you feel like, feel like you're in too deep and you can't get out, embrace the role I mean at this point. If you like the attention, own it. If you don't like the attention in this way, then change it. So personally, I don't think she is going anywhere anytime soon, especially if YouTube decides to take no action regarding the situation. And even if the lawsuits all kind of go away and kind of get settled, um, I don't know if, if YouTube will even take any action, even if the stuff is in the rear view. And even if YouTube does take action, Katie is going to find another place to keep going with her quote unquote stands until she learns the lesson if she doesn't learn it through the lawsuits and what, what the, whatever the case may be, or if YouTube doesn't do something drastic. So we'll see if Katie ever learns her lesson. So make sure to tap or click the screen for my other Katie Joy Without a Crystal Ball videos that I have made on YouTube and I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section below. Bye-bye.